Hi everybody and welcome to this lesson on looking at the different strategies that are available out there or that we could employ when we are migrating to the cloud. Now there are quite a few different strategies out there. What I'm going to do is just take you through some of the more common ones that are employed by a lot of organizations. So the first one is something referred to as rehosting, which is also sometimes called lift and shift migration because there's no code or no such advanced coding that you need to do to migrate your infrastructure. You're simply lifting it up and putting it in the cloud. And one of the main reasons organizations employ this is for timing, because this is a very, very quick way to migrate everything to the cloud. Now, each application or each VM is essentially picked up and put on the cloud virtually. And lots of different reasons or use cases when this would be employed, first and foremost, is if you need to get it done quickly. So if you're in a time crunch, this would be the main one that you would want to employ when moving to the cloud. Or for applications or services that are already architected to use the AWS infrastructure. Uh, some applications require recoding in order to work on the cloud, but if your applications are already architected to utilize the cloud services, then this would be a perfect choice. Or businesses that require applications but no need to change the capabilities, which again goes hand in hand with, with, with the previous one. Or apps or databases requirement that can only be met using AWS virtual machines. So for example, if you are employing a new database or a new app that requires a significant hardware upgrade, then obviously rehosting will be the best option because you can get it done very quickly. And then lastly, moving apps without any code changes, which, which basically means that your apps can operate efficiently on the cloud infrastructure and do not need any recoding. Then we have something called the refactor, which is also referred to as repackaging. Now this, this strategy involves some change to the application design, but no wholesale changes to the application code. So your app can take advantage of, you know, IaaS or infrastructure as a service or platform as a service products within the AWS ecosystem, you know, such as their managed database services. So why use this when you have an existing code base and dev skills and code portability is a concern, then this would be a good way. A quick way to modernize your app. So if you've been using a, one of the legacy applications, this is a good way to not only go to the cloud, but also modernize your app at the same time. Or driving continuous innovation by taking advantage of DevOps and the containers, such as the Docker containers or the Kubernetes container. Moving on down the complexity chain, we have re-architect, which is essentially modify or extend your application's code base to scale and optimize it for the cloud. Now here you would modernize your app into a resilient, highly scalable, independently deployable architecture and use AWS to accelerate that process. You can scale applications with confidence and manage your apps with ease. So this is essentially going down the complexity change in terms of changing the architecture of your applications. So why or when would you use this? Can to take advantage of an existing application investments, uh, meet scalability requirements, bring new capabilities that are only available on the cloud in AWS into your organization or into your app, and improve the agility uh, by applying some innovative DevOps practices, you know, like the code commit and the code pipeline can be employed within your applications or within your architecture. And then lastly, we have the rebuild. Now rebuild basically is an app building it from scratch using cloud native technologies. Now AWS Platform as a Service provides complete development and deployment environment in the cloud without the expense and complexity of software licenses, the need for underlying app infrastructure, or even middleware and resources. So with this cloud migration strategy, you manage the applications and services you develop, and AWS essentially manages everything else. So this way you can put your resources in developing the app and not really, or the program, and not really have to worry about what underlying infrastructure it will operate on. So why and when to use this? Again, for either rapid development when existing app is slowing you down uh, and you, obviously you need to take your business to the next level. Building new apps using cloud native technologies, uh, building innovative apps to utilize uh, and take advantage of IoT or AI or blockchain. Uh, again, blockchain can be done off the cloud, but a lot of the cloud services, especially the AWS blockchain service that's offered makes life a lot easier. 
uh, expediting innovation, and again, as, as the previous one, applying innovative DevOps practices. So those are the four main strategies which a lot of organizations employ, you know, the rehosting, refactor, re-architect, or rebuild, and again, going for simple to the most complex, which is rebuilding. So it just depends on your organization, your use case, your business, what you're trying to do. If you're simply trying to move to the cloud uh, and everything you have can be migrated without any issues, without any modifications, then obviously rehosting would be the case. But if you are an organization that's been using a lot of legacy applications, then obviously you might want to look at some of the other three or even rebuilding the entire application or the entire infrastructure from scratch.